Yeah, getting invited to share was such a great opportunity to reflect over the benefits I gained from this training. And um, I met this training about three years ago through my beloved sister. And um, I went to an open meeting and uh, I didn't understand anything. I cried and I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so there were lots of things going on. And um, I went back to some other open meetings and there was there's something in here that speaks to me, really. But it wasn't really the time in my life where I wanted to commit or I felt that it took too much time. Um, but then I could see the changes in my sister and that was such a big inspiration to see how, how she grew every year, how the relationship with the, our parents was different and I was observing <laughs> she's got something I want, really. And um, yeah, prior to this training, I was a renovation project. I had to fix so much with myself and my circumstances. It was either to change um, job, move countries, or if I just had that creative work that I always longed for. Um, and had a, I had lots of anxiety every day. And I tried different strategies to manage this. And this was uh, <coughs> seeing shrinks, um, antidepressants, drugs, nothing worked. Um, and I always looked for tools, because some like going to, to uh, a therapist maybe helped for a little bit, but then I was out in my life myself, and I just had nothing to rely on. I was just on my own with my stuff. And then I had a, a crucial point in my life when I moved countries. I moved to Amsterdam and I started this um, art school, which I always longed for, and I completely crashed. Things I always longed for was there, but I was also there <laughs> with all my stuff. Um, so I knew that this balanced view thing was probably the right thing to do, but I was so scared that it would be my last lifeline. But I decided to try it on. Um, and I did the 12 empowerments and since then it's such a big shift in my life because I have the tools now, I really know where to go to. And um, the first important tool is short moments and that is so powerful. In the beginning it was quite tricky because I'm very used to understanding things intellectually or analysing them. And, this short moment is just an experience, so cutting things at the root. When my anxiety was coming, I was cutting it, and I just kept on doing it. And um, I realized that there's no backpack, there's no traumas. It's just clear if I let it to. There's, there's something that is stable in me, no matter what I experience. What is looking? what is actually experiencing and to have this uh, instruction this education to to learn to to experience this is just such a bliss and um, the other mainstays um, the talks i listen a lot to talks when i cook when i bike to school when i fall asleep when I have a trouble to take a short moment. Um, I like to have them in the back. Sometimes I listen, sometimes I don't, but they're great. And uh, I often write out a text in the morning when I wake up, just to like set the, the standard of the day because I can often wake up with anxiety. Oh, there it is, oh, no. oh okay. <laughs> and um, the trainings, they're great. I, uh, um, the more I participate, the more I open up because it's, it's such an empowerment to um, um, normalize data, to come with my most private and personal stuff that I don't want to share with anyone and I'm probably the only one who feels like this. And then you ask that question that is so 
so yours. And then you see people nodding. Probably everyone can sign. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's just really opening it up. Um, the trainer, that's just in a relationship that only empowers me. Um, I really, really treasure that relationship. And it helped me not to go to my friends and ask like 10 people, what should I do? Get different opinions, get more confused. <laughs> um, I know where to go. And it's also helped me to reflect over a solution. So when I write to her, I write a solution. And then I see that I, I actually know. <laughs> Often I do know what to do if I rest with it for a while. Um, the community, yeah, that's just so good <laughs> to see in, in people that walk before me because there's so often I'm like, okay, it doesn't work. I just can't do it. And you see it in others. Um, yeah. I'm really, really happy to be here. And um, I came to, to Goa for the first time to do this. And uh, I was supposed to leave a week ago, but I extended my stay. And um, I'm very, very happy for that because I can really see a difference each day I'm here. It's just I'm more stable and I know there's no limits. So this is it. It works.